Next, let us take a look at the switch case statement. So let us create a new class. So imagine I have a variable like j equal to 2. The switch case statement is written like this. Switch within parenthesis j, curly braces, close curly braces. Then you create various cases like this. Case 0, colon, system.out.println value is 0. And then say break create another case. So here you can see that I have created various cases. Like I have an int j equal to 2 and then I have a switch j and then I have like case 0 which will print out value is 0 and then there is a break case 1 value is 1 and so on. And then at the end I have something called as default and it prints out no value and then break. And then I close the particular curly braces over here this curly braces I close it here now let us save and run this so when you run this you get the value as 2 value is 2 is printed so you can see how the switch case works when the compiler reaches this particular point like switch j then it will look for a case which matches the value 2 so since this particular case matches the value 2 it will execute all the code in this particular block of code before the break is hit and then it will reach this break and it will come out of this particular switch statement if you do not have this break statement then what will happen is it will fall down to case 3 and it will print out value is 3 also. So it will print out value is 2 and value is 3. I can save and run this. Right click, run as job. So here you can see that if I run this now, value is 2 is printed and then value is 3 is printed because I had removed the break statement. Now suppose there is some value like say 5 and we don't have any of the matching cases. In this case I have no case 5 so in those cases the default case will be executed that is no value will be printed since java 7 you can also use strings in switch case statement before java 7 you cannot use string string is used to hold any kind of a text so let us modify this to use strings string j holds the text as 2. So now let us say case 0, 1, 2. And you can see that I have also changed all the cases to like strings. Now if I run this, you can see that value is 2 is printed. So you can also use string in these switch case statements.